What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of New Parenting Training. So today, I finally got my Simply Cam uh, video doorbell. So it finally arrived today. I've been waiting for this for some time now. So today, I'm going to unbox it and also install it and kind of show you how to use it as well. So anyway, before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So the video doorbell came with a box that's just similar to all the other box that I have uh, unboxed for the Simply uh, Safe security system so if you haven't seen those i'll link the video up top so you can see my video on how to purchase the security package and how to install some of the uh, security system as well now open it up so there is the video doorbell so it has a little sticker that covered the video cam itself it looked kind of like the nest uh, doorbell. This is the doorbell itself. It's the button to press. So this one has the night vision. So th th it can record uh, at night time. And the next layer, we have this bracket. So I think this is where all the cable uh, will connect. Continue. So we have the insulation guy. I'll tell you step by step how to install this. And then we have the Nego notice. So there's one more stuff underneath. So we have a torque screwdriver. And then we have more bracket and screws, okay? So on top of here, it says clearance. So just be mindful uh, when you install this bracket, you have to have at least this much of clearance before you can install this uh, bracket. Uh, because this thing has to be slide on top in order to secure itself so if you have something above it then you have to find a different location for this doorbell now some of the tools that you might be needing for this installation is well obviously a screwdriver another thing that you might need uh, depending on your situation is a drill now if you're lucky enough by removing your old doorbell you might have pre-drill holes in on your wall or on your door that you can just simply uh, put this doorbell onto but if you don't then i strongly suggest you to get a drill now especially if you have brick wall i've been told that i need to have a 316 drill bits to drill through the the masonry brick when you get the drill bit make sure it can go through brick well, because uh, some of them, they don't. I also got one that's much smaller. So the one eight will be the drill bit that I'll be using to start the process, to drill a smaller hole and then I'll enlarge it by using the 316. 316 is the recommended uh, drill bit for this installation. All right, let me show you how to install this thing onto your wall. Before we get started, make sure that you turn your breaker switch off for the doorbell so right now there's no power going in now sometimes the breaker might not be marked so you just have to turn one by one to find out which one is the uh, breaker for the doorbell if not just turn the whole system off so this way uh, you make sure that you won't get shot so to speak so just be safe then sorry now for me our doorbell is on this brick wall and has two screws so I have unscrewed them already. Uh, I took a look at the position that I currently have on here. And as the markup, you're supposed to use this bracket to mark. So I'm not sure if you can see like the two holes are pre-drilled here for the old doorbell. If I put this here right now, 
only one of them can fit so I have to drill one hole regardless let me mark this and we can get started with the drilling uh, don't forget before you do anything just get the old doorbell off so um, as I mentioned before you should start with a smaller drill first um, this one is much smaller and when you first started just put a little tape I'm not sure if you can see it here uh, use the wall anchor that provided for Simply Safe. Just mark where the end is. So it, I, this is how much I need to drill in. So from the tip to this point, uh, I don't have a color tape, but this is kind of translucent. But then, I mean, I can I I know where it is. So just keep that in mind. You should do something similar. So then you won't over drill or under drill. So yeah, now let's get started with the drilling. Okay, the smaller drill is done. Now I'm just going to switch to the actual drill that I need to use. So here it is. I also use the tape to mark it off. Once that's done, make sure you put the wall anchor. Here is a bracket that they provided. I think this way it just kind of make your camera more slanted in a way. Uh, so if you have this way, the thicker side on the bottom, then your camera is going to face up more. Alright, now for the installation. So for the wire to go through you need to unscrew the screws a little bit for it to come through the hole here um, I'm gonna put the bracket here like so okay actually the the toughest part is to fish the wire over to get inside the screw so yeah uh, make sure that you just loosen up the screw as much as you can and fish it out and make a little hook and then come back in and then screw it back on so now I just need to screw this bracket onto the wall itself so now once the base is on you just make sure that it's secure and the wires are fished through and they are not moving and then now it's time for you to put the video cam onto the bracket itself so just kind of start from the top once it's in you just slide it down it should be staying put now let's go turn on the breaker itself all right so now that it's plugged in now don't be alarmed if the light is not flashing initially once you turn the breaker on because uh, according to the instruction you might need to wait a few minutes for it to recharge a little bit yeah the light will eventually flash now uh, especially if it's flashing white then you will know this machine is ready to be installed now what we need to do is to go into the app once you open up the simply app just go into the cameras and add new camera and now this one is the video doorbell pro and we'll ask you for the location once you have the correct location and press yes and then choose the wi-fi network and then it will ask you is this back or front or side door select the right one uh, it will ask you have you installed your video doorbell pro and yes it is installed it is the light flashing white and in this case it's yes and now it says hold the qr code one foot in front of the doorbell so it will have a qr code just like how you will set up the indoor camera for the simply safe as well once you click ok and then the qr code will be appear then you kind of ok now attempting to connect to wi-fi ok so the front door is done as you can see I'm waving alright lastly don't forget the security screw that come with the doorbell is right underneath so now it won't slide up even if we wanted to push it 
So this is done. All right, so the installation is done and over with. Uh, so it's, it's pretty straightforward, very simple. Uh, the only thing that you have to do is just to drill a hole. If you are comfortable with that, then you are all set. After you have done installing, you must have to have the Simply Safe app. So if you don't have the app, then it kind of render the doorbell useless, so to speak. Uh, the app itself controls everything. Just FYI, the setting for the doorbell initially was set at 720p. Uh, I forgot to change it, so some of my recording of the video footage using this doorbell uh, turned out to be 720p. But it, it can record in 1080p, so it's high depth. It's just that for 1080p, it might take a little bit longer to load. That's it. So uh, for this camera, uh, it has sensor so it can detect motions. If you look into a setting in the app, then you can set the setting to detect motion or not. Uh, it will send you alert. Mine is all set pretty much all default. Uh, so whenever there's a movement in front of the camera, then it will get uh, triggered and then will send to the app. So this thing also has the night vision. So I have done three video recording using the doorbell. One is at daytime. One is at nighttime. And one is at nighttime with the porch light on. All three of them were recorded in 720p, but as you can tell from the video, the face is still recognizable, so which is uh, really good what you need from a security camera. So there's a mic on the bottom, so you can communicate with whoever is on the other side of the door. So who is this doorbell for, right? It all comes down to the value of this doorbell. Now, for me, I would say that this thing uh, is really suitable for people who are on simply safe uh, security system because this thing required the app to be on the interactive security plan. So that means you have to pay $25 a month for the security plan, the monitoring security plan. So this thing will work with the app, but it can only save the recording if it's using the interactive plan. So if you're already using the security system and you are paying $25, then yes, by all means get this because you don't have to pay extras for saving the, uh, the video footage on, in the cloud. So the video footage is, they only save it for 30 days. Just keep that in mind. If you are someone who is not on the Simply Safe security system, then this doorbell might not be suitable for you because this thing comes in at $169. And then if you just buy the doorbell itself without the plan, uh, well, it kind of rendered the, the video saving capability useless, right? So while well, you should look elsewhere for a doorbell system. Now on my previous video, people have mentioned that uh, there are different doorbells out there uh, that has saving capability built in. So I don't even have to use monthly service for that. So I will look into those. Uh, maybe in the future, I might get one of those doorbell and to test it out compared to the Simply Safe doorbell. Uh, but for now, this is what I'm keeping. <laughs> so yeah, uh, comment down below. Uh, I want to see if you are using Simply Safe and but different doorbell system or what doorbell system would you recommend? Yeah, so I'm kind of still in the market to look for a, a, a better solution, so to speak. But anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.